This is Open Mailbox. Today I'm going to show you how to get started coding your first custom mod for your GTA 5 server running on the 5M modding framework. The assumption is that you already have your 5M server running. If not, check out my previous video uh, with instructions on how to set up your 5M development server. Let's talk a little bit about the architecture of a 5M server. A 5M server is a collection of resources. Each resource is a mod. There's uh, servers that are made up of dozens or even hundreds of resources or little mods that are all working together to deliver the custom uh, functions and code and everything else that you see when you're playing on a, on a 5M server. So we're going to make our own custom resource, a very small one, just to figure out how all of these things work together. So the first thing you're going to do in your directory where, the, where your server.cfg file is, you're going to go into the resources directory. You're going to create a new folder that's called hello. And that's going to be the name of our resource, hello. 5M resources can be written in one of three different programming languages. You can use Lua, you can use C Sharp, or you can use JavaScript. We're going to use Lua because the vast majority of third-party resources that you'll find across the internet are written in Lua. And also, it's just generally much easier to get started with Lua, <clears throat> especially if you haven't had any programming experience before. Regardless of what language you use, the resource is constructed the same the same way. So the first thing you need to do is create a resource manifest. The manifest is uh, instructions to 5M on how to load your resources, what files are part of this resource. Uh, there's a template basically that you can just copy and paste off the website, paste that into a file that's called underscore underscore resource dot Lua. Uh, that's gonna be right in your hello directory. Don't worry about the resourced manifest version directive. Just copy that from the example. But what you do want to pay attention to is the client script directive. We're going to create a new file in a minute here called hello.lua. And the client script directive tells 5M that that's the file that it needs to load to run this mod. Let's write some code. We're going to make a very simple custom command called slash hello. When you type it in the chat window, it's just going to give you a custom greeting. Now, register command is a, is a native function provided by 5M, giving us a way to register custom commands that we can use in the game. The other native function that we're going to use is trigger event that broadcasts an event to all of the other resources or all of the other code that's running on the client uh, and, and some other mod that's out there. In, in this case, the chat resource will be listening for this, for this event that's called chat add message and we're going to pass it a few other arguments here in order to indicate uh, what type of message we want to show. When you're done writing the code, go to your server.cfg, add a line that says ensure hello to make sure that the server knows to start this resource at startup time. Now, once that's done, we could shut down the server and restart it to for all of this to get loaded, but there's an easier way. If you go back to your window where your server is running, you can type refresh, and that will tell 5M to look through the resources directory for any files it wasn't aware of before. And then after that, you can type ensure hello. And that tells 5M to make sure that the hello resource is now running. So in this way, uh, whatever changes you, you make, you can hot reload the code. You don't have to restart your server every time to test the code that you're writing. Now go into your game, type T to bring up the chat window, type slash hello, and you should see your hello world greeting. We're not quite done yet. We're, we're going to make one more modification to our command. We're going to use one more native function called get player name. Uh, we're going to use the source variable that was passed in to this function by the re by the command itself. Uh, and get player name is going to return the the registered Steam name in this case of the connected person. So it's going to say open mailbox, right? And then I'm going to interpolate that into the into the string that I'm sending into the chat window so that I can say hello to myself. Once that's done, again, go to your server window, type ensure hello, it will restart the hello resource because you need to reload that code. And now when you go back into your game and you type slash hello, you should get a custom greeting that says hello to whatever your uh, username is. That's all there is to writing your very first custom 5M resource. There's plenty of uh, documentation out there to, for you to read, to, to learn more, go to docs.5m.net and uh, read through everything on there for a, for a more general understanding of a lot of different topics. Um, there's also the 5M forums. Uh, you can go there to find 
um, all, a whole list of third party resources. You can download those. You can read through the code to understand um, how they're doing different things. Um, and if you want to put any of them into your server, all you have to do is stick it in your resources directory, just the same way that you wrote your own resource. That's where the rest of them go to. And then add it to your server.cfg and restart. And then if you're looking for uh, information on learning Lua itself, Lua is a full featured programming language. It's been around for many years. You can go to uh, lua.org and read all about the programming language and learn some of the basics. Finally, if you go to runtime.5m.net, you can browse the native function API for the 5M runtime. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. You can also find me streaming on Twitch a few nights a week uh, or in Discord. And uh, maybe I'll try to put out a few more of these learning 5M videos in the future.